Hi, my name is Yannick Lefebvre and I'm the author of the Link Library for WordPress plugin. This is the second tutorial on how to use Link Library on your website and how to configure it to achieve different results. In this tutorial we're going to focus on category selection. When you create a website using Link Library with your links, you may have multiple categories of links and you may not want to display them all at the same time. Now in the first tutorial we displayed all of our categories of links with two short codes, Link Library Cats and Link Library. That's great, but if we want to display only a few, how do we do that? So the first thing that we'll take a look at is uh, take a look at our actual link categories. And so I'll come in here and hit Link Categories and then I'm going to see the two categories that I created for this tutorial, Tech Podcast and Video Game Podcast. Now these two categories have their names, of course, their slug, but they also have something very important to us right now, which is their IDs. Now by default, IDs are not shown. I can see them here on the far right column. What is actually showing me this is a plugin that I've installed called Reveal IDs. That makes it really helpful, but if you don't want to actually install an extra plugin on your website, the other way that you can know what the IDs of these categories are is by clicking on them and looking at the URL at the, at the top of the page. In there, you will see tag underscore ID is equal three, so that tells me that this is category number three. With this information in hand, we can go under Link Library and start to configure the plugin. Now, we haven't looked at this menu in the first tutorial, but in this case now, we'll look at the Library Settings section. Now, this is a very long page that has a lot of parameters, the section of interest to us at this time is the very first one that's called common parameters. In here we'll be able to specify two pieces of information that will let us control categories. We'll be able to specify which categories should be displayed and which ones should be excluded. So in the first case by specifying no categories or an empty field uh, we're saying that all categories should be displayed. Now if we want to only display category 3 we can go in and enter the number 3 in here and update our settings and then back on our links page if we refresh now we see that only one category is shown. Now if you want to select more than one category of course we only have two right now but still if we want to select to show three and two we can write three comma two update our settings refresh our page and we're going to be back to seeing both categories. So this could be used if you want to see two categories out of, let's say, 10 that you might have on your site. Now, alternatively, if you have a lot of categories and want to see most, but retrieve a few or remove a few, what you can do is use the other field below, categories to be excluded. So if I come in here and say exclude category two, and then update, then I'm going to see that I'm only going to see category three on the site. Now that's all nice and fine, but if you want to use Link Library on multiple pages and you only want to see some categories on each of these pages, starting to configure these settings all the time might be a bit uh, difficult. So an easier way to be able to select which categories are going to be shown is to specify them right in the shortcode call. So if I take a look at my page here, Useful Links, and edit the page, what I'll see here is that I'm going to have two short codes, Link Library Cats and Link Library. Now I can come in here and I can actually override the list of categories that will be shown. Now to remember what the parameters are for this, you can go to the FAQ page for the Link Library plugin and you'll see here uh, what are the parameters. So for example, we can see here category list override is equal to 28. So if I come inside of my page editor, category list override is equal to 3. And update. I'm going to see that I'm going to get a similar result where I'm only going to see category 3. But what I could then do is use these same short codes on another page and specify that the category list override is 2 and then I would only see category 2. I can do the same with exclude category or category override to only to exclude a specific category. I hope you found this useful and stay tuned for more tutorials on Link Library.